Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.13.1. I'm going to take you through every step from downloading your shaders pack to getting Optify and installed, working through any problems you may have along the way. But first we need a message from our sponsors, which is Game Servers. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. If you want a Minecraft server set up and running to play with your friends, uh, it's it's the easiest and quickest way to do it. Again, that is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get shaders installed. It's pretty simple stuff. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and it's going to take you right here, which is our website where you can download the Silder Shaders pack. So go ahead, click on Download Silder Shaders. It actually will take us over here to the Minecraft form where we then want to scroll down, and you can use any of these, right? As you can see, Optifine for 1.13.1 can be downloaded, and these are all available for it. So what we want here just depends on you. Now I'm going to be running on this one right here. It's recommended for recording because I'm recording. So we're going to do a Vibrant Shaders Medium right here and it's going to take us over to Adfly where you want to wait five seconds. Don't click anything on the page. Do not click a single thing on this page at all until you see a button in the top right that says skip ad. See this yellow skip ad button? Click that. Don't click anything else on that page. And then take you out to this where it'll redirect you and eventually it will land us on Mediafire. Now, if it's not redirecting you here, you can click this. Oh, there it goes. All right. So now it has redirected us and this is the website we want to be on, Mediafire. Once you're on Mediafire, what you want to do is find the green download button right here that says download on it, right next to where it says Silder's Vibrant Shaders. If you have a pop-up or anything like that, just close out of it. But right Right here is this green download button. Let's click on that and it downloads in the bottom left. Now we need to download Optifine. Doing that's super easy. A lot easier than downloading shaders actually. You can download Optifine from the third link down below and it will take you here which is uh, our website where it shows you how to install Optifine. But what we want to do is click on this big green download button here and it will take us off to Optifine's official website. Now right here it says Minecraft 1.13.1 or even if down here it says Minecraft 1.13.1 depending on how long it's been since this video came out. What you're looking for is if it says Minecraft 1.13.1 anywhere else on this page in big bold letters, you want to go to that and then right under it you want to find the most recent version like this and then click on mirror here. Now if you're watching this right after it come out, guess what? Optifine's not out for 1.13.1 as an official version, so you got to click on preview versions right here. And there it is. Optifine 1.13.1 is out in beta format as a preview version. So if we then come over here to mirror, we can click on this mirror button right there. And it will take us off to the download page. Now don't click anything on this page at all except this blue download link right here. See this blue download link? Click on that and it will download Optifine in the bottom left. Optifine has been downloaded by millions of people, guys. Millions of people. So you are perfectly fine to click keep right here and Optifine will then save. Now if we minimize our browser on my desktop, I have shaders and I have Optifine right there. If you don't, no worries. Go ahead and click the uh, Windows button in the top left for me. It's probably in the bottom left for you and it will open up your start menu. Then you want to type in downloads right like that and you should have this, a downloads folder. If you click on that, most likely Optifine will be in here. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once Optifine and shaders are on your desktop, we need to install Optifine. To do that, right click on it and then go to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary, right there. Now, if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary, no problem. All you want to do is come over to uh, the description of this video and go to the, I think, fourth link, fifth link down below, and it will take you here, which is uh, the basically Java JDK download. Go through this tutorial, download Java, and uh, it should work. If it doesn't, guess what? All you need to do is download the Jarfix, which is also linked down below. When you're on the Jarfix website here, there is one note though. If you're doing this, come down and make sure you click on this little blue download button right here. Not the blue download button, but the little blue download link where it just says Jarfix.exe under download authors web from author's website. Right, that's what you want to click right there. Nothing else on the page. And it will automatically download the Jarfix. Run that and it will fix any jar mess ups on your computer and then you'll be able to come here 
right click on Optifine, go to open with, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. Nevertheless, once you've got the Optifine installer here, all you want to do is click on install. Now, for me, it's going to say Optifine successfully installed, which is great. If it doesn't for you, most likely what you need to do is go run the vanilla version of Minecraft 1.13.1. Make sure it is 1.13.1 and not 1.13 or 1.13.2. It needs to be the exact version of my Optifine that you are installing. Once you've done that and it's all good and you see Optifine successfully installed, you can click OK. Now we need to install shaders. But to do that, we actually need to open up our Minecraft launcher and get Optifine open. So to do that, open up your Minecraft launcher like this. And now next to your uh, play button down here, you ought to have a green arrow. Click on that and you should have this Optifine version. If you do, just click on that and click play. If you don't, no worries. Click on the three arrows up here in the top right and then go over here to launch options. You then want to create a, like, add new here. And then you can name this whatever. I'm just going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why would I name it that? Oh, that's because that is the IP address for our 24-hour server that is survival. It's awesome. Come play with us. It is 100% greed protected survival. We have a super active community over there. All the info is linked in the description down below. So uh, go down there and check that out and come play with us in 1.13.1 Greed Protected Survival. You absolutely love it if you're looking for a survival server. I promise you that. So come play. Nevertheless, once you've got your name in there, we want to go next to version here and we want to find release 1.13.1 Optifine right there. Click on that. And then I'm going to change my resolution real quick. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so you guys can see. There we go. Now we can just go ahead and click save. And then we can go over here to news. And this time if we click the little green arrow next to the play button, we want to select the profile we created. In my case, play.breakdowncraft.com. Awesome Minecraft server. Come play with us. And then we want to hit the play button. And it will now open up Minecraft 1.13.1 with Optifine installed. But I don't know about you. I want shaders. So how do we get shaders installed now that Optifine is installed? Well, Optifine is is required for shaders, but installing shaders from this point is pretty easy. Just click on the options button here, then click on video settings, and then click on the shaders button. Then in the bottom left down here, you have the shaders folder. Click on that, and it will open up this handy dandy folder where all we want to do is take the cylinders, vibrant shaders that we downloaded, and drag them into the shaders folder here. Now, they will automatically appear in the background. If they don't, you may have to click done, and then click shaders again. And then to activate the shaders pack, just go ahead and click on it then it might give you like a circle of death, right? You might see a little circle, but eventually it will activate shaders like that, and then you can click done. Now, if you didn't have a shaders pack folder open, don't worry, it's very easy. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard, which between Control and Alt on the left side, hit the R, and it will open up this right here, which is the run program. In here, you want to type percent, app, data, percent, percent, app, data, percent, hit enter, and then you want to go into your .minecraft folder. In here, you want to create this folder right here. Just call it shaders packs, all lowercase, all one word. And then drag and drop your shaders pack into it. See, ours is already in there because we've already done that. Now you can go ahead, go back to Minecraft, and select it here. Nevertheless, let's go ahead, make sure Shaders is in fact working by logging on to the best Minecraft survival server out there, play.breakdowncraft.com. We're expanding, by the way. We're going to be having or Skyblock, we're going to be having factions, things like that. But right now, we're just great protective survival. And look at that, all of the yellow. The clouds are a bit glitched, though. Yeah, the clouds are a bit glitched. So this is actually a great place and time to say this. Optifine and the Shaders packs are still very, very, very much so in beta, right? So because they're very, very much so in beta, you're going to run into issues like clouds being messed up and things like that, right? So if we come in here and just turn clouds off, yeah, that is uh, is much better. <laughs> so you see that was glitching out clouds. But um, so there we go, right? That is shaders. That is how you can get it installed. And uh, once we fix the cloud issue, look at that water. Oh my God, it's beautiful. The ships that spawn just look absolutely stunning guys look at that I think that is a thumbnail everybody look at that Wow I'm just I'm just gonna stay right here and we can just just bask in that beauty but nevertheless guys there you guys have it that is how you can get Optifine and shaders installed in Minecraft 1.13.1 shaders is awesome I absolutely love it it makes the game look beautiful and I hope you love it as well. Now, if you have any issues from this point, most likely they're because your computer can't run shaders. You're going to need a serious graphics card to be able to run shaders. And uh, if you don't have that, you might be able to run the low version of cylinder shaders. Otherwise, you probably aren't going to be able to run shaders at all, unfortunately. So you're going to have to upgrade your PC, which uh, 
kind of suck. But nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Come play on this awesome server. It is survival. It is incredible. I guarantee you will love it. So come play with us. Play it up. BreakdownCraft.com. And again, my name is Nick. This has been the Breakdown Tech. And I'm out, guys. Peace.